good news, everyone. Good news, everyone. Oh, I am in focus, okay. Doggy. Hello, hello. Look, my room is a little bit more lit up now because I had to change shit around. Uh, hello, hi, hi, how are you? Um, new video on Tuesday, Family Jewels. Finally. Those of you guys, hold on. Let me, let me move some distracting thing for, things from the frame. That's, this is yours. Getting lit. I have to make it look like I'm a clean person by just taking all of my shit and moving it out of the frame of the camera. That's my, that's my secret. Not many people know that secret. You duck. You little duck. Yeah. That's your duck. Evie Breeder, thanks so much for the raid. Yeah, let's open up this pit. Let's go. Not again, not again, not again. Hey, I hope you had a good stream. Uh, one second, my band unplugged. You might be saying a fan in November. Yeah, I live in San Diego. It's there's wildfires. She's adorable with the duck. Yeah, she just put that. She just put that there. You just put that there. You guys cuddling. That's very cute. Business suit top and pajama pant bottoms for virtual meetings. Kind of it. Fuck yeah. Emo yeah, this is my emotional support duck. He's my emotional support duck. Yeah. Hello, everybody. Um, so yeah, uh, new video on Family Jewels on Tuesday. Um, it, it will be the, um, the Chugga Conroy medley. So, yeah. It, it's, it's a, it's like a playthrough and like a, uh, a one take, but multiple video takes. So like I try to marry in between the idea of one take. So it's one take, but two camera angles and it goes between the camera angles. Yeah. Cause like, I feel like with the, with the pattern of my videos, like I do so many camera changes and cuts and stuff that like, when I do like a one take, it's like almost like, I feel like it's like awkward. Like, I feel like going from, like, a normal, one of my normal videos to, uh, um, like, a, like, one of the 50 video game songs or, uh, the Flight of the Bumblebee. I feel like it's, like, weird, but, so, I don't know. I just tried it. And there is the Chugga Conroy, who the medley is of. That's just too cute. She, I didn't put the duck there, if you're just coming in. She she just kind of dropped it. You know, with the ducky, you know, with the ducky, dog with the duck, dog with the duck, doggy with the ducky, doggy with the ducky. Yeah. How cute. She went to the dog park today. Well, I mean, we both went to the dog park today. Um. So yeah. <laughs> Yuck. <laughs> Chuck a Conroy medley, the big project. No, it was the side project. Chugga Conroy, Chugga Conroy was my side biddy. Sorry, sorry, Emil. Sorry you had to hear it like this, live on cast. Speaking of purpose, I'm getting back into it. Fuck yeah! Spending a lot of time getting better at mixing, so nothing I like make uh, make doesn't sound horrible anymore. The really cool thing about mixing is that doesn't help because you'll never feel like it's good. It, you know, you'll get better. I'm used to your seconds. Ugh, sorry, man. One day. 
Um, yeah, best thing about mixing is you are getting better, but uh, it's not going to say, like, you're going to feel like you're getting worse. Um, and the answer is you probably are getting worse because the best mixing is just volume faders. Big project. I thought you had stopped YouTube altogether since you haven't up updated in over two weeks. I know. I just stopped YouTube. I, I, I actually died um, because I didn't upload a video. Like you, you know when a YouTuber is dead because they haven't uploaded a video in 45 minutes. That's how you like, you can be absolutely sure. Oh, rest of Thank you. <laughs> Appreciate that. I don't know. I just feel like YouTube is... I, I've always been a very optimistic person about YouTube, about, you know, like, because people are like, oh, it's fucking dying because of the adpocalypse or these trends or everything is this, everything is this. And I've always just kind of been like, oh, whatever, it's fine. It's YouTube. I'm finally kind of in the, in the camp of, I'm like, I kind of fucking hate. The reason I don't like YouTube right now is because I feel like nobody's actually making videos for people. They're making videos for an algorithm. Especially artists. So, I don't know. I'm tired of these thumbnails. I'm tired of these titles. And I'm tired of feeling like I need to do that to uh, to not cuck my video. But, I don't know. I'm starting to just think maybe I should just make stuff that people actually want to watch. The Mr. Beast effect. Yeah, and then everyone copies Mr. Beast. And they're like, why doesn't that work? It's because, like, Mr. Beast is doing it. Your videos aren't being watched because they look like a Mr. Beast video. Your videos aren't being watched because they suck. Very easy to, easy to confuse. You know? I just feel like it's easy when you have high expectations um, of a video. It doesn't meet them. And instead of accepting the fact that, well, the video just didn't connect with your viewers that you did something wrong algorithmically and sure maybe but because everyone's got a story you know everyone's got like a, oh like i knew a guy who like his video fucking blew up and all he did was he had this tag and it's like i don't know eventually we all sink back to our roots yeah i'm sinking back it's time it's time i sink Stop coming in the sink and start sinking in the cum. All right. We're doing Ocarina of Time today. MST, that is Medallion Stones and Trials. We gotta get all those medallions. We gotta get all those stones. We gotta get all those trials. And we gotta do them by the source requirements. So here we go. Let's fucking do this shit. Remember when you crashed a CS Guitar Community Medley and played guitar horribly? Yeah. I, I like to believe I haven't changed. That, I feel like that's exactly something I would do even today. So, I don't know. I feel pretty good. I feel true to my... I, I feel like I've been true. It's getting chunkier by the... I love it. I can't wait for that transition to be one frame a second. Like, we're getting there. And I'm, I'm, not, I'm not even going to try to fix it until it's literally just, like, an image of fire and then, <laughs> and then the next scene. When was that? That that had to have been like 2012 or 2013. Like at least 10 years ago. Maybe even 2011. Avery Shadows. Yeah, uh, I'm, uh, I'm firing pretty well. It, it's an image of fire than the end screen. Yeah, then, then my stream's over. All right, we got the coffee. Yuna's got her stick. Yuna's got her duck. I got my fucking smoking nick and sucking dick, um, and then, last but not least, dry and fucking glide, baby. They they need to mod it with your versions of the songs in the game. I have thought about doing stuff like that. The problem is like, uh, the way a lot of these um, emulators work is, uh, it's using code that's uh, playing the music based on um, its original kind of format. So you can't just like replace an MP3. Um, you would have to almost like, I, I feel like you would need to, uh, you would need to PC port it, which I think they have, right? And then, and then change it that way. 
This game was released 26 years ago yesterday. Me too. Released from the shackles of this flesh prison. Here we go. Three, two, uh, eh. Yeah. I really loved it when Link said "gat." You know, he really was the first. Duck, duck, go. <laughs> Look at my yacht. My yacht is amazing. <laughs> My screen is like kind of tilted in a weird way. What's up, Toast? Hello, everybody. Link, the original appreciator of the Gat. It's true. She, he does the fucking side hop because he sees one. He goes, Gat! Oh, that's not going to work at all. Yep. Right to the face. That was actually, like, kind of a comical uh, angle and everything. So I'm not mad about that. I just hate when, like, I try to, like, Z-target. And, it, like, Z-targets diagonally. That's, like, that's been, like, a new thing. Like, especially when I go, um, when I'm doing the back walk in Hyrule Field during the first section. Very strange. Ah, I've been turning to the to the left a lot. I feel like I'm having like Joy-Con drift on my N64 controller. Oh wait, fuck! I need another. Who is the best Gat in Hyrule? Um, Ganon. Oh fuck me! All right, hold on. Sorry. Then the the, the fucking um, auto splitter got fucked because that's my cue is yeah. No. My my cue there is uh, me walking out of the cookery shop for the auto splitter, so it got fucked. All right, that was a good practice run. We're good. We're good now. All right, now let's do the first run of the day. Wait, hold on. No. Oh. Oh. God. Oh. Oh. Okay, here we go. My girlfriend tells me I'm funny sometimes. That message has the same energy as the fucking one trainer um, on uh, right after Nugget Bridge who says, I've got a girlfriend. <laughs> but that means your girlfriend has to be like, 10 feet away from you waiting for other trainers to be like, my boyfriend's so cool. Really, a, a true a true romance story. I know exactly what trainer... Yeah, I mean, I have to fight that trainer in the speedrun. It's okay, Emil. I also... I really like shorts. They're comfy and easy to wear. Yeah, it's a uh, hiker, girlfriend, boy, and then boyfriend, girl, and then you go to Bill. <laughs> so I remember it in my head. Thought you were gonna say it's the energy of the trainer in Diamond and Pearl. Uh, when the Pokemon, if Father gave him all he has is a Magikarp. I didn't play Diamond and Pearl. I stopped after Gold and Silver, so I barely, I barely played Ruby Sapphire. I mean, I I know the music because it's fucking iconic, but. Um, I think I got to like the first town in Ruby Sapphire because I was playing on just like an emulator on my phone because like I, I did that thing where I'm just like I, I was just like, okay, there's no excuse. I it, I can literally just play this game on an emulator on my phone And then I did and then I didn't keep playing it You need to play platinum. I don't know. I don't I don't think I like Pokemon 
I know it's like kind of a crazy statement. Like I like Pokemon, the idea and the franchise and the characters or whatever, I think. But like the concept of a Pokemon video game, I just, I feel like I don't even really like anymore. I feel like I'm just chasing a dragon. I'm chasing the dragon of how Pokemon felt in 1998. Main series game on the DS. Uh, I, I jumped back in on um, uh, X and Y. Or not X, yeah, X and Y. X and Y was my jump back in point. And then I played everyone since then. I don't believe that didn't work. Didn't even really like Mystery Dungeon either. I know. It, it, for me, it, it's turn-based combat. I just, I have a really hard time doing turn-based combat for a while. Are you serious? That was like perfect. Do I wanna run that? Yeah, I'll run that. <laughs> Try to explore this guy. Uh, I don't remember which one I played. I think I played whatever the, the Switch one was. Problem is a strategy, I prefer to just hit it and kill it. Not to try to figure out what it's weak to to dorm. I actually like weakness and and strategize strategizing. Like that's the fun part for me. I think the only reason I got through Octopath Traveler is because they, um, that's a remake of one. Oh, I don't, I don't fucking know. <coughs> I don't fucking know anything. Switch one is good, but not the best mystery dungeon game. I just, I don't know, like. I feel like I need to get to a certain point of starting a game because like, I really hate starting new games. They just feel like I'm, I don't know how to play them. I'm fumbling on the controls, trying to figure out what the game wants me to do. Um, and I feel like it's a grind. You know, you have like an intro grind the first time you play a game. Um, and I either need that grind to n pretty much not exist. Like you're just thrown in and you know, all the buttons you press and that that's, and then it gives you everything as you go. Kind of like the, uh, the super meat boy strat. Love, well, love the super meat boy strat, you know, here, he, here is the moves button. I, it's a bit ironic. I feel like starting out in Pokemon is just inherently good. It, no, like starting it, like, I feel like the biggest, um, The biggest problem with Pokemon, the other side of this, is that the game takes too long to pick up. Or like, um, what do you call it? Like, uh, the game holds your hand or has a tutorial that's way too fucking long. Um, case in point, I felt like the entire first island of Sun and Moon, that felt like a tutorial, right? And by the time I was done with it, I I I was I was over it. I don't know. I'm just I don't know. I just I don't want to. I like I want to play a video game. I want to get to the point where I feel feel like I'm good at the game. Um, fast. First Island, Second Island doesn't introduce many new Pokemon. Anything super exciting. Yeah, em Emil watched me play Sun and Moon, and I just couldn't fucking get through it. This angle is cancerous, but it might still work. Nope. Oh. My god. <laughs> At that point, if I didn't get Wes, I wouldn't I wouldn't make it in time. <laughs> I was just like I'm just slip sliding waiting waiting until 
the, I think entering at the last possible frame. That was bullshit. I should I should have failed that. It should have been nighttime when I walked in here. Crazy, it's the 25th anniversary of DK64. I, apparently, yesterday was, what, the 26th anniversary of this game? This game's old enough to... Well, a year older than old enough to be able to rent a car. What's up, Radiation Hamster? Not much, just grabbing some cock. Throwing cock. Yayeet cock. It's not that crazy, y'all are just old. I mean, you're not wrong. Pick up the guy. You grab cock. I'm eating balls. Yeah. We're just we're. Just, it's all in cooperative. Uh, teamwork makes the dream work, as they say. Thank you for finding my cock. The K64 was a pain. 100. percent Yeah. Yeah. Good old Anju, the lady with her cock, so. Was I early? Fuck. I know. Um, I couldn't tell. Legs always look like fucked up condoms. I feel like they look like, uh, remember like the, the toys that, uh, totally were just fleshlights in the 90s? That's what they always reminded me of. Like they're like, oh, it's a cool jelly tube. It's like, okay, and you're expecting me not to put my fucking dick in that. Sure. Yeah, the yeah, the jelly thing. Girls wouldn't understand. <laughs> the the ladies here, you can, you can sit this conversation out. Me and my boys, we saw those things and we we're Oh, you fucking Okay, Wallmaster was uh was out fucking 
taking a wank or something. Jules, I'm a girl from O2. Do not leave me alone. Or what? My guy, and still have my guy. And I still have no idea what you mean. Okay. So, in the '90s, when we were running in the '90s, like initial D, um, I love playing with those jelly things. I just use my fingers. Yeah. Or I'll force you to play. Oh no, I'm gonna play Pokemon. I played Pokemon for like six months last uh, last year. Yeah. What are they called? They're just like jelly. Oh god, I don't have time. Oh my god. All right. Hold on. Why am I fucking playing so shit this past week? I need to fucking get my shit together. Like, sometimes I'm just locked the fuck in, but most of the time I just feel like I'm just... I'm casually playing this game. Water Wiggler. <laughs> it's Water Wiggler Wednesday. And with that... Three, two, one, go! You didn't get Yuna's Blessing? Blessing? She's like, no, I'm sleeping. All right, we, we can't get it. <laughs> yeah, so it was it was a jelly tube. Um, it like had a it was like a plastic outer casing, but it was like I don't know, I don't know how to fucking explain it. Yeah, those things. And any any red blooded guy said. I wonder what it would feel like to put my wang in there. And I don't think anyone really did. Maybe. Yeah. Very funny to squoosh. Yeah, but I wondered about it once I grew up if the boys did that. Oh my. See, it's like, what is happening? Still trying to figure out this toy. Someone somewhere did. I just feel like it wouldn't feel very good because it, it, it's like it's like sticky plastic, you know. You 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 wanna you wanna be like you want like s sloppy slidey uh, lube. That's the word. I'm <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, it has no grip. I feel like it grips too hard. So it, like if you do this, it just doesn't feel like anything because it's just moving. Yeah, sloppy slidey, aka l lubricant. <laughs> Three, two, one, like, like. Sloppy slidey has now been added to the family jewels dictionary. Yeah. I'm just describing the sensation of what it feels like when dick feel good in thing. It needs to be sloppy slidey. If not, if it's grippy whippy, it's not great. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I'm sure someone's into it, but... <laughs> yeah. If your dick ain't going slurp, slurp, I don't want it. <laughs> I don't want it. Sloppy to dop. <laughs> hey Jeff, good morning, fellow slurpers. Yeah. Jeff will back me up. It's got a slurp. If it ain't slurping, I'm glorping. That's what <laughs> that's what I always say. Ugh. Are we serious? I, I had Z down, you piece of shit. <laughs> la prima corrida of the day. <laughs> de la dia. Oh my god.
I <laughs> ate first. my own ass <laughs> for charity! <laughs> Thank you so much, uh, Anonymous, for gifting a sub to uh, Schlorpolo Schlorpologist. Schlorpologist. Yeah, I said that right. Sloppy doppy dob. Schlorpy lorpy dorpy borp. El dia. Oh, sorry. It's not la dia? De la dia? Because it ends with an a? Ah. I guess el. Mm. El dias. Fucking conjugation. Why? Jules, I'm a, I am um, about ten seconds away from leaving. Please, I this is this is my content. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. I don't know. Why I'm saying that like goofy. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you, Sora. I stabbed every single one of them right in the back alleyway. God. <laughs> my knife went slurp, slurp, slurpy. Fuck. You, bro, please let me inside, bro, please, bro, please let me inside you, bro. There we go. Uh, yeah, fine. Your father doesn't just have sex, Maxie. Your dad fucks. <laughs> Fuck. The cuck arena. <laughs> of that, I put 90s jelly into Google, and Google finished the rest of the search for 90s jelly tube toy. Oh, yeah. 90s jelly tube toy. I, what, what did you guys say it was? Wiggly, the Wiggly Wiggler or something like that? The Wednesday Wiggler? <laughs> it's, it's Wiggler Wednesday. I'll never let Nintendo forget that tweet. It's my favorite one. Water Wiggler. Okay. The Water Wiggler. I, listen, I, I've, I've been insanely honest. I've never lied on this stream before. I always tell the whole truth and nothing but the truth. So fucking help me God. I have never put my dick in a water wiggler. However, I've thought about it and I'm curious. <laughs> Has anyone in chat put their wang in the water wiggler? Wang in the water wiggler. Did you ever have a water wiggler wang? I have never put my dick in a water wiggler. <laughs> yeah, that's. <laughs> I feel like I take a lot of I, I take a lot of pride in people always saying like I came in at the weirdest time of the stream. I'm like, no, at any time of the stream you came in. I thought about it too, but never have. Yeah, I feel like, how is it that so many people have thought about it and no one ever did? It's crazy. I think it's because we have like an inherent survival instinct that like some kind of eldritch beast would like come out of it and just like tear it off or something. I don't know. Like, why do we all have this inherent like fear of, or not fear, but like we wonder, but we don't actually do it, you know? Yeah, survival instincts. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I think, yeah, there, there's no, uh, there's no friction. Well, I thought it, it it like has too much friction. I just feel like it would just, well, it, like it would, it would, uh, it would latch or, or it would like sticky. But then when you like move it up and down, it doesn't actually move anything. Right? Dick havers are fucking insane. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You're right. 
But now, what if you were to, like... What if you were to, like, just really, like, fucking slop up that inside, you know? Just get it, get it, get it all nice and fucking looby wooby you know? Like, I wonder if that would, but, but uh, I just, I don't know. I feel like everyone just was like, they wondered, and then they were like, ah, that'd be stupid. And then they just never did it. And, like, literally nobody did it. But there has to be, like, somebody. It would just, like, yeah, it would probably just slip off. There has to be somebody who did it. I just, like, I don't know. Somebody did it, you know, they might have taken a picture, and maybe, like, I'm not asking for this, but they should send it to me. You know, I don't want to see that. that. That'd be weird, but, like, you know. Actually, just tell me the URL of the image so that I can put it in my do not go to list of URLs that I have. I've got a big list of URLs that I do not go to. Um, and I'll just add that one to that one, yeah. The Pringles can and the sponges? Yeah, I, I've, I've seen that one. I feel like that one's like posted all the time on fucking 4chan. And I, that, I feel like, <laughs> damn, it's 2020. It's like, the, it's like the fucking 21st century. And nothing fucking proves that we're just fucking mindless animals like people fucking Pringles cans with sponges in them. It's like, damn, that's just... <laughs> Tell me we have free will. It's 2024, bro. Yeah, I know. But, like, I feel like it's been... It's been an ongoing, uh... Pandemic of Pringle Can fucking, you know? I feel like we've just been doing it for too long, and I'm just tired of pretending like we're not. I'm just fucking sick of pretending like we're not all just fucking Pringle Cans. God, these cocks are spread open. Spread wide. Now I gotta fucking go all the way over here. Just fight. No, I do Like, I... I personally feel like fucking a water wiggler would not be good. However, out of curiosity, I want to know anyone who has, you know. I literally said that I've never done it. However, I've thought about it. I'm pretty sure if I had the opportunity, I would have. But for some reason, there was just never an opportunity. My boyfriend says it's squishy. Okay. It's not, I don't know. Yes, uh, Wiggler is a Mario enemy, but did that work? Yeah, somehow that worked. That was weird. Thought I was I thought I was through with the um crouch stab. Alright, I'm gonna try it. Uh that's kinda deep. I'll try it. Okay, we're good. Nice. <laughs> yeah. It's weird around your dick so it looks like you're just fucking packing. Hell yeah. Now that I'm sure somebody's done. I don't love this angle, but I think I'm making it work. Yeah. Nice. Alright. Time safe for when this PB is. Well, it's, like, a weird thing, because, like, I don't imagine it would feel good. Yeah, like, I can't imagine it feels good, but just a thing. Yeah, it's just out of curiosity. And that's kind of where I am. I don't know. Googled it. I'd fuck it, but it looks like bad plastic, so lube up. Yeah, but, like, what we're saying is it would just, like, slip off. I don't know. Plastic plus friction, it'd make a horrible burn. Yeah, I think so. So then it, it, it's just, it's wild, because it's, like... Why did we all wonder? It's because it looks like, wow. I could, like, like we all ask, we, could we put our dick in it? And then we asked, should we put our dick in it? 
which I think is very mature of men. <laughs> Are we fucking serious? I fucking hate when I don't get a fucking side hop off. Oh, by other men asking, did you put your dick in it? Yeah. That's just normal guy talk. Guys are always talking about, did you put your dick in blank? Just common, common guy conversations. Have you ever put your dick in blank? You know? Hello, gentlemen. How many 90s toys has you, has you pleasured recently? D-Club. Fucking Club D. <laughs> Did you put your dick in the outlet again? Can't help it, man. That's why my hair looks like this. <laughs> it's actually, like, unironically, whenever somebody asks me, like, how do I spike my hair, I always used to say I just put my dick in an outlet. And, and then they like, ha, ha, ha. And I'm like, yeah, it's the only way to get the volume. And I stare at them. And then I say, you know, honestly... What if there's a tier list for things to put your dick in? I feel like there was a TikTok trend of this where like they would keep showing um it was like a like it would show images and like would you put your dick in that? Um and then you had to like watch it like blind and then uh and then like kind of tier list it as you go, but like it gets worse and worse and you think you got to like the worst thing and then it like it surprises you. Like, you have to order it and... Oh, God. I fucked that up. Maybe. Oh, my God. I recovered it. You're having different guy conversations? I mean, yeah. I'm probably having conversations with different guys. Guys who put their dick in things. Is it like gay chicken except for dick torture? <sighs> no. Maybe? I don't know. I haven't played gay chicken in a while. Anyway, so we got to... <laughs> I glue my balls to my butthole again. All right, saved like 15 seconds. Let's fucking go. This is Res Resident Evil theory crafting. Like, eventually men get tired of just always talking about, like, oh, you know, I played straight chicken before. Damn. Like, guys just get tired of being like, oh, you know, yeah, today I put my dick in this, I put my dick in that, you know. And then eventually, like, we want to be able to settle down with somebody. I don't trust this guard. I'm not, I'm not going to go. Um, we want to settle down with somebody that we can talk about. Theory crafting and things that we, you know, that we're fans of. It, it's all, it's all part of the natural developmental stages of, of men, you know. How do you, I put my dick in the air fryer? I don't know how. And then, and then your significant other says, "I know how." What did we say last time? Theory crafting of things to put your dick in. I, I don't know. I guess it's just like, isn't, wouldn't it just be like a survival thing that like guys just have this fucking chemical need to just put their dick in things? I don't know. And then there is the guy on TikTok and like, I think they probably on Instagram too. Where he, he fucks different foods. And he's just got a big black bar. And he's like, alright, today we're gonna fuck lima beans. Today I'm gonna fuck pinto beans. I don't, I, I've, I've only ever seen the beans one. But, like, he does a bunch of different... Like, Alana. Remember Alana from last year? She, she was the one who told me about him. Because she said she saw one where he was fucking pasta. And she was deciding what the best pasta to fuck is. It was like... ZD or like spaghetti, you know? <laughs> Good night, Evie. I'm sorry. 
How is that guy not banned from social? Because he doesn't show anything. It's just a, there's a huge black bar. So he's doing it, but like you don't see anything. My dick can fit in penne. Hell yeah. <laughs> I think it's like a bowl of penne. It's not just like one fucking. <laughs> It's shell pasta. I don't know. I think ZD was the winner. You could have your dick and stuff right now. Yeah, you guys would never know. He had them all in cups. <laughs> yeah. I I think uh I think um Pinto Beans was the winner on the beans one. When is Dick not in stuff? True. Hopefully it's in yo pants. Chef Boyardee is now a gay icon. Uh, well, I was gonna say why. I mean, I'm 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 here for it, but what's the lore? <laughs> Wouldn't pasta sauce just like hurt the dick? Um, I mean, if it's hot, yeah. I assume he doesn't like pull the pasta out of the oven and then just immediately fucking you know. Bury his meat popsicle in it. Because that man probably fucked a shit. <laughs> yeah. What if it goes in the urethra? Yeah, I mean... I don't know. Urethra is really hard to... to What do you call it? It's not like a gaping hole, you know? It's pretty, it's pretty like... Some people do like sounding. I... That's one of those like kind of just like survivalist things that I start to be like, ah, you know. I'm having pasta for dinner and I'm not sure how to feel about this conversation. Well, you can feel your dick in it if you want to. Not all of us have that uh freedom. Usually find out in yeah. <laughs> yeah, self-sealing technology. Do you know all urethras have a, have like the 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 pinch the pinch zip? It's just like a Ziploc. <laughs> Do you guys know that? <laughs> ah. <laughs> no, not not foreskin. Yeah, oh man. Yeah, you, you, you have Ziploc foreskin if you're fucking uncircumcised. So if if you got circumcised, sorry to tell you, they took away your like most interesting uh human feature. <laughs> my favorite food to stick my dick in is your mom. <laughs> there you go. Oh yeah. Guess I should not have my sword out. <sighs> GG. No, that's what we do instead of talking to women. Since I die on the first frame of that cutscene, the game considers that I watched it. And so now I have Zelda's lullaby. Oh, I know. I just said GG because I felt... Like, yeah. I feel like GG. GG and... I, I do like uh, convincing people that I just like died, or the reset joke is always funny. Or if I have to reset for any reason, I just say like, oh man, that run sucks, it's over. I feel like n no reset run should be more popular, like where you can't turn the console off. I remember the the first Banjo Kazooie hundred percent run I learned. Uh, that was a that was a no. There was no reset in the middle. 
which is w weird because that's like such a iconic joke here now. The shock guy definitely has his dick in something with that look. Oh yeah. I want what he's having. <laughs> Shot guy is just Matt Mercer, it's true. Beans, yeah, pinto beans. Looked in my mind in negative ways. When you were humming there, all I could think of was suck on a big old dick. Yeah, it's all I sing about. I just sing about sucking dick. Yeah, <laughs> playing Megalovania while I'm doing the wrong warp. Alright. We have an easy minute of time to save if we uh, get Twink Rocket. Um... And I think if Shadow Temple is tight, that's another minute that we can save. Wake up. Ah, the chosen one. Ah. Why not Twunk Rocket? I don't know. Twink Rocket feels funnier for some reason, but it is a Twunk Rocket. All right. You're sleeping, baby. Oh, with the duck? Cool. Oh, I'll cuddle with the little ducky. She's like, mm, I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. He loves these scritches. She, she uh she saw a dog today that was like j like matched her energy like perfectly, so she is like exhausted. She either like finds big dogs that don't know how to play with her, and she gets just fucking like obliterated by it or just other small dogs that are just like low energy and then she's the one wanting to play with them but they don't want to play with her so today like she got she got a good play in I actually thought Yuna was low energy no if Yuna's playing, she's very high energy. Good for her. Yeah, she just, she just, uh, I don't know. Like, she just turned, she just knows when it's like chill vibe sleep mode. I like this image because it looks like Dead Hand is just like tucking her in the wallpaper. Wow, uh, has a small dog that matches her high energy? Hell yeah. I'm just happy that Yuna knows how to like turn it off. I know. I had a really bad bout of uh, insomnia. I think it was like right before Thursday. Um, where I got, like, fucking two or three hours of sleep. And for, like, no reason. I had, like, nothing going on on Thursday. Um, I think I slept, like, three two-hour phases that day. Like, I woke up at, like, eight. <laughs> I went to sleep for, like, two hours, and then I streamed, and then I fell back asleep after the stream. But, like, I could only sleep for, like, an hour or two. It was weird. <clears throat> So, and my last three days have been getting my sleep back on schedule. The night after I slept for like, like my, my sleep ring fucking told me I, I got like 10 hours of, of actual sleep, not just like in bed. I think I was in bed for like 12, but like full, like 10 hours of just like fucking 
hard ass sleep. Been in bed since Friday, but I've only gotten like a total of six hours of sleep. Yeah. <clears throat> Finally got my sleep schedule fixed after a month. Fuck yeah. Ten hours of fucking hard ass. Yeah. It's when you clench for ten hours. That FHA. Link, you have to get the medallions. Link, Link, you stink. <laughs> You've not a shower in seven years. <laughs> Stinky Linky. <laughs> what a terrible day to be a mute. You can't talk back to me, bitch. Anyway, go get the medallions and, and then sh and take a shower, smelly fuck. <laughs> Sheik pops out of the shadows. Link, you're a stinky boy. <clears throat> Actually, uh, I think I don't know. A minute red's kind of fucking hard to come back from. Let's try a new one. Sussy Baka. I feel like I lock in more for adult sections in general, though. The child section just feels like, all right, let's fucking get through this. Tried decomp OT. Uh, I, tr I did um, Ship of Parkinian. It, the game's really fucking weird for me to play um, on a, in 60 FPS. <clears throat> I usually like... I really like the... Um, the, in, the, like... Uh, internal randomizer and everything feels fake. You are, yeah, um, but whenever I do it, I usually have to fucking go on N64 mode, <laughs> which makes it like uh, four by three, 20, 20 FPS. The 3DS textures and some other. Yeah, I, I've also played with different textures and stuff too. I mean, we did we did all of the um, what do you call it? Like the different like character models and stuff had like big chungus and stuff. That was fun. I liked it. Link, you're so stinky. Please take a bath and wash your asshole right fucking now. Ah, uh, your asshole right now. Right fuck. I think right fucking now. Yeah, there you go. No! God. Sometimes I'm just rolling and I can't fucking change my aim. bad <laughs> young man you're very quick to be able to come oh 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 i didn't like that coming out of my mouth oh god i guess my 
Luigi. I've said I was stinky, so I had to take a take a shower. Yeah. Link is in the same boat, the same stink boat. You should play Mario and Luigi Brotherhood. It's really good. I'm still playing Factorio. God, There's still a whole planet I haven't been to. It's crazy. Game, the game now with four planets is like the ultimate fucking like juggling plate simulator. So you'd be like, okay, I have to go to this planet to get this science, and then uh, you're like, all right, everything looks fine. I can leave the planet, and then f you like leave, and then five seconds later, biters have just fucking obliterated everything. I really want to do another run of um, Satisfactory, but I was like, all right, once I finish the uh, 2.0 Factorio update, I'll do that, and I'm probably just going to be playing that for the rest of my life. So, I, I also still have to play the Thousand Year Door remake. I would really like to do that. I have a Twitch Clips channel in the Discord now that you can post Twitchy Clippies. Your Twitches Clippus. Want to do another Factorio while Jules judges our music stream? I find it hard to, like, focus on the music. Like, it, it ends up just kind of being in the background while I'm, like, doing all the fucking mental gymnastics that Factorio requires you to do. Clipperous. The clipperist doesn't exist. It can't hurt you. <laughs> you have Twitch and the Dick Sword? Yeah. Doctor doesn't know what it is. Link is nothing in November. Link is nothing if not a gooner. Fucking coomer. Nice. <sighs> Could not have hoped for a better hover boot section. <laughs> Too much information, Matthew Kidder. Alright. There's not a lot of time save on that split, huh? Be brave and trust in the boots. I don't know about that. Oh. That's probably fine. Yeah. Okay. That's how you do that shit. Are Link's t tights white because of a massive cum stain? Yeah, <laughs> these tights were blue. Ugh, it's time to kill Bongo with a bottle of bugs. Very close. Oh, that was like literally the last chance I had to get the ISG. Uh, 
Is Bug Trick faster than 100% runs Bomb Trick? Um, maybe because you skipped this cutscene. And the first cutscene. So, I don't know, maybe. The Bomb Trick is also funny, but the Bug Trick, though. The Bug Trick's fun. I don't know how the wrong warp would work with the, uh, the Bomb Trick, too. Good to me. Did I say a minute of time save? I meant a minute of fucking time save! Let's fucking go! Alright, say goodbye to the bugs. I feel like this is what, what keeps happening. Like, I keep entering, um... Shadow Temple, like, a minute red, and then we pull the run back. Th that's happened at least, like, three times. She save on my time till I green. <laughs> Are you sick? <laughs> green with envy. Whenever I think of green with envy, I think of the scene from the Boo Saga when Bibbidi says, Maybe Piccolo is green with envy at the power of Majin Boo. Built a Wawa about four, uh, four miles from my house and it's recently opened. I walked in this minute and they were playing Regassi on the radio. I love Wawa. It's like the only redeeming quality of East Coast for me. Alright, I'm gonna do He actually said that, yeah. I was like, look at this green fellow. Can't help but imagine what the sages do when Link doesn't show up after killing them. I know. I'm like, all right, Link's coming, guys. I promise. Oh, maybe he's just a little late. Maybe you got a little bit lost in the in the warp uh the warp dimension. Yeah, don't look at the map. Don't do it, you fucking sickos. That was a northwest thing? No. I th I, th I feel like the only places that I ever saw Wawa in the beginning was like um like New Jersey, Pennsylvania. Lonk from Pennsylvania. Like, I'm a Florida man, so it's... Uh, yeah, that that is strange to me. I wish we'd get Wawa in California. Oh, one more. Okay. <sighs> Fucking love it. Link went to Wawa, what would he stick his dick in? Hmm. Like, the, the appeal of Wawa is it's like, it's open 24 hours and you can really just get anything there. There we fucking go. What is Wawa? It's like a convenience store on, like, steroids. It's like 7-Eleven, but it has, like, way more shit. One minute, 35 seconds. You love to fucking see it. Like Bucky's? Yeah, I, I've never been to Bucky's. Uh, I'm not sure. Northern Bucky's. I guess so. So is 7-Eleven for meth heads? No, 7-Eleven is the, is the Wawa for meth heads. Like Wawa is, Wawa is like... I don't know. I, I would almost say it's classier, but I mean, is it? I don't know. It, it's class is the wrong word, but it's 
it's more like there's more effort put into a Wawa than a 7-Eleven. It's like Sheets. I haven't been to Sheets either. Jeff, you're from like you're from Northwest, right? Do they have Wawa up there? No. Yeah, I didn't think so. No Wawa here, yeah. I feel like it's... Yep, Cul yeah, I, I've been to Culver's. That's a... I feel like that's a Washington staple. Wawa sounds like a meme joke and not a real place. It's a real place. It's a... It's... And it's awesome. I remember when I was, um... I'd visit Oni and G and the, the Sleepy Cabin crew. And they were like... I, I, I think they were like in that area. Um... And yeah, they live near a Wawa, and that was like a common a common trip. Like the place, but it's only the fourth closest gas station, mate. Yeah. Do you have delis in your petrol stations? <laughs> I'm I'm a. I feel like I feel like it came out. I didn't want to I didn't want to talk about it, but um, a few years ago I bought a Tesla, so I don't get a petrol stations I don't I don't uh acquire petrol at the station yeah it sounds very British my god I'm about to petrol I'm reading um good omens right now or the I'm listening to it on audiobook and it's all just very posh British accents <laughs> oh my word I'm arriving Oh, <laughs> tight dick. The Brit petrol is very British. Good omens, really good. Yeah, I've I've had it recommended to me a lot, and I'm finally I finally got around to it. I kind of want to do a uh, Wheel of Time next because Corey says that one's a really good one. Orn. <laughs> Yeah, that's what I hear, Jeff. Uh, I, like, is it is it kind of like um? I'm trying to think of like a, a series. I I I didn't I didn't personally. Oh! <laughs> Fuck yeah. That did feel pretty fast. Um, I didn't feel this way, but like a lot of people say, like it's like, oh, okay. Um, uh, it's is it like uh, fucking um, Death Note, where it like very clearly ends at a certain point, but they just kept going for some reason. Is it is it kind of like that? Cummy, Kyle the fish. Wa Water Wiggler might be the one. Wheel of Time is supposed to be a trilogy, and then it got popular. And I was like, oh, we can milk this. Okay, so if you just read the first three books and pretend like the other ones don't exist, it's fine. Because like I'll do that. I I don't know. Water Wiggler was kind of a big a big thing. Wawa. <laughs> what about Wawi? Water Wiggler. Horno Livorno. <laughs> wah wah wiggler. I, I'm I'm very three books and stopping is good. Okay, cool. That's what I'll do. Just like a test to see what you remember from the stream, yeah. Wawiji. <laughs> Wawiji. A lot of people said that about Dexter, um, where after the Trinity arc, they should have just ended it. 
And I thought the um I thought the season with Julia Styles was pretty good. So I'm glad they didn't, but I got halfway through the last season and I can't remember who told yeah, I think it might have been uh Mick Lichu. No, 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 because Mick Lichu was like fi like fine with it, fine with the ending. Somebody told me like don't watch the rest of it, and then I didn't. So I've never seen the ending of Dexter. Uh, but I did watch the uh the new Dexter show and I actually kinda liked that one. I'm a fan of a well written ending. I still feel like there's no ending like fucking Breaking Bad. Breaking Bad is just fucking peak. I did the original author's notes and when this won't fit one book. <laughs> oh shit. That's a death note point. I don't mind the last part. It's not as good, but I still enjoy it. That's fair. Don't spoil Breaking Bad. I won't. It's just... I, I just just to like put your fucking expectations through the roof um, and it still will meet them I promise Breaking Bad has like the best ending of a TV show it, it's it's so fucking good they wrapped it they wrapped it they somehow fucking wrapped it up so well and it it's so satisfying definitely finish Breaking Bad if you ever start watching it it's phenomenal um, I think what else um, I, I kind of did the same thing with How I Met Your Mother. Like, I got all, all the way to the very, very last season, and then somebody said, don't watch the ending, and I was like, okay, and I did. <laughs> so I've never seen the last, I, I, and like, in my head, Dexter is still a good show. How I Met Your Mother, still a fucking great show. Just fell out of it. I feel like I did that too. I, I did that with a lot with um, Walking Dead. I feel like Walking Dead kept losing me, and then and then people were like, "Oh no, it got good again." I was like, "Ah, fuck, fine." And then I would catch up, and then it would be good, and then it would get bad again, and then I would stop watching. Be like, "Oh, but it got good again." I'm like, "Fucking stop it!" BBC Sherlock. Except I think I've only seen the first season of BBC Sherlock. That's the one with um. Been a big cumber bunch, right? Pingling. Benedict, Benedict Cumber Butt, yeah, that one. Benedict Cucumber, yeah. Bendy Dick Crumbly Bat. Oh man. What's up, Jim? How you doing? Benadryl cat bitch patch. <laughs> I don't know why that one got me so hard. Benadryl cabbage patch. It just it it painted a, an, an image in my head of where Benadryl comes from. <laughs> If Dale dies, we riot and all these southern kids thinking, oh, if they were Dale from uh, Walking Dead. <laughs> Thing with The Walking Dead is like, I feel like it's a good example of just how like shows will like milk certain characters. You know what I mean? Like regardless of like the, uh, like the source material. And I don't know, it, it just, it takes away a lot of the stakes when you know that like characters can just come back to life or like, oh, by the way, they're not actually dead. They actually survived and shit like that. I don't know. It t it just takes a lot of the like emotional, like, like, oh God, like something could happen to the, it, it, like it takes the tension away. I feel like the uh, the big one was like um, I remember with Game of Thrones when they had the um, uh, 
Pedro Pascal's character um, and that whole thing. Um, and how everyone was just like, oh my God, like that would never happen in any other show because everyone loved that character. Uh, I'm, I'm fucking already spoiled it, but whatever. Um, and it just felt like, oh my God, like fucking, I remember people were like pissed because they were like, oh my God, like this is crazy. Like you'll just kill off anyone. And George R. R. Martin was like, yeah. Why, why not? shit fucking ending i actually didn't mind i i didn't mind the ending of game of thrones i minded how it got there i would have been fine with the ending if it was different all right water wiggler let's do this what there we go last season made me vomit it was a season no fuck no I tried to get out of there. I tried to get out of there. All right, Water Wiggler. I, I just, I, I hate trying to find that fucking door backwards. I'm getting Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones took me, like, I would fall off and then get back in. Like, especially in the beginning where it was just like, oh my God, this is so fucking overwhelming. Super rush towards. Yeah, I... There are elements, like, like the way I look at it, Game of Th uh, Thrones had no plot immunity until they brought Snow back. To yeah, yeah, I, it, that was weird. Um, but, like, I don't know. Song of Fire and Ice is going to be the real author milked it until they died. Yeah, well, if he ever writes it. The books aren't finished, so that's the main issue. Yeah, well, like, I feel like... There's probably a very reasonable way that, like... Because, like, when you see where all everything lands, right? At the end of the Game of Thrones show. To me, I don't mind it. I don't mind how things landed. It's, like, the lines people said and the way people died and just... It was just very, very strange. That's what I mean. That man, I finished it. Yeah. But then somebody else is going to do it. Which actually might be a good thing. I don't know. I tried reading the Game of Thrones books and I felt they were too dry. I couldn't get their own. Are we, are we just not... We, we don't like doors today. No Jim Morrison for him. Stephen King they asked him how King can write so many books while he's still penal yeah I, I think I saw that exact same interview that was the one where they talk about um, like creating worlds from like a seed or top down um, like a seed that kind of plants so you don't really like think about everything you just kind of Start somewhere and then work your way out. And mind Brand becoming king, but the way they did, yeah, I'm I'm in the same exact boat. I think what was it? Terry Pratchett, some author, had their hard drive with all their notes be pushed by a steamroller at a country fair after death to prevent anyone finishing his stuff. <laughs> Damn, should have thrown the bomb. Oh well. Yeah, I mean, uh, Good Omens is by uh, Terry Pratchett and. Um, I'm very bad with authors, but um, yeah, I'm I'm enjoying it so far. I just I I just listen to audiobooks while I play Factorio now. It's just like my my big uh, my big relaxation uh, habit now. Does audiobooks count as reading? I mean, yes, you're just reading with your ears instead of your eyes. No. Stuck up elitist. That's listening. Yeah, but the you're internalizing the the information. If you read along, yes. If not, it's a podcast. Well, I mean it's just like if I said like I read a book. Do you really have to like always fucking say like oh i listened to a book like if i listen to a book on on 
kiss? Oh, good kiss. Hang on, I have an autism comic about this. I love that sentence. Like, like, I mean, my thing is just like, do I have to not, am I not allowed to say that I, I read it? Says who? Someone who works. Uh, say audiobooks are good. Physically reading is better. Yeah. I definitely, I definitely retain more knowledge when I physically read. Your eyes did not kiss the information. How, how, how are you reading, Matthew Kidder? I should don't answer that. Um, you are consuming a book, so yeah. With my eyes, with your eyes kissing the the book. I think the book needs to be a little bit further away, personally. But no, you know what? You do you. <laughs> Someone else is reading a book too. Yeah. I don't know. So listening to a book is no shame, right? But like. I feel like I'm wondering about the like, I don't know, like how easy it'd be for people to like be elitist and be like, well, I actually read it. I didn't just listen to it. So my reading experience is better than yours. I feel like the only way you can be like, I consumed this book. You know what I mean? Like, book readers are gatekeepers as fuck. Yeah. Got him. Can I listen to audiobooks because I was listening to music when I'm reading? Oh man, that seems like, I, I guess I, I listen to music too critically, I think. Or not, not, not like critically, like almost like, um, Intently that I feel like even even non lyrical like instrumental music would I feel like would distract me from reading Actively thank you. Yeah, I Consumed this book anally. Okay, so everyone's gonna say that now whether you audio book it or physical book it I I I consumed this book anally. Well, yeah, we're boofing the books now. Can I post the autism comic? Uh, Discord. I can't read with music. Yeah. Has to match the tone. I can see that, yeah. I meant what channel? <laughs> oh, uh, g general, probably. Here's a my brother Luigi now to tell you a whole heap of a spaghetti pile of information. Hello, Mario. I am late to stream again, but I make number go up, yay. Thank you for making number go up. I hope you're doing well, Macintosh. Stop! Hammer time. It's a little reference that some of you kiddos might not get. Back from my time. Here's some gatekeeping for you. <laughs> I've been listening to Can't Touch This. You mean you're, you've been anally boofing Can't Touch This? If you're not reading the lyrics, you're not really enjoying it. Okay. Girl with dragon tattoo. Uh, yeah. I I just saw the um 
the original movies. I didn't see the new ones. And now I have an, a ridiculous crush on uh, Numi Rapace because of those. Oops. Please. Alright, we need four on the next one. Damn it, that last one didn't hit. I don't know why. It was in a good spot. I must have just, uh, I must have not actually seen where I dropped it. And it was actually a bad spot. Whoa! I made a really satisfying noise. The boof. How exactly does bombing the holes work? Uh, Volvagia has a um, a hitbox that's directly underneath the the level um, until he does his first like uh, fly section, um, and we can hit it with a bomb. All right, Water Wiggler, let's do this shit. Just under the whole level. Yeah, I think it's, uh, it, it's like his fucking hitbox it just stays under the under the like neat that platform just like kind of shallow but it's in a very specific spot i have to be kind of um like that's why the last bomb didn't actually hit all right stories for a podcast is a past i'm super good at it hell yeah all right that looked good let's go all right 138 is very good Because we still have a little bit more time save if we get a good jungle jump. But we're not, we're not like, pressed on getting jungle jump first try. Welcome to the Pyongu! We've got fun and beans! Oh, that was a super wholesome story about my brother learning how to speak. Have I... No, you haven't. In the Pyongu! Pyongu in the Pyongu! Wow, they fucking suck today. They didn't put up a fight at all. Yeah. Big skill issue. They both nutted too, which is pretty sick. I will I will nut up and shut up. Come here. Here we go. Uh, 
Nice. Uh, one more frame. Ooh, second frame. Nice. Okay, we're good. Oh, I wasn't sure. I thought that might have been third frame, but we were good. I don't actually know a third frame backup for that. I was visiting and I was talking to my brother. Oh, that's very wholesome. Dangerous. Don't get the heart, you fucker. Fuck. Damn, they're all nutting today. What the fuck? That's a fucking split. Oh yeah, that one that one has not been working. Okay. Hell yeah, 420. I should have waited a second. Thank you for sharing, Eevee. Very wholesome, very feel good. All right, now it's time. Hola, me has atrapado. En medio, suavemente. Te traigo mi suave. Regresé de entre los muertos con música de YouTube que cumple con los derechos de autor. Disfruta de la gloriosa suavidad conmigo bajo mi gobierno. Viviremos a bien suavemente mi corazón. Es tiempo de suavemente te das cuenta de que suavemente es para siempre la luna y el sol morirán. Pero la suavidad es suave. Las estrellas brillarán intensamente. Todos sabrán suavemente lo que suave es suavemente de nuevo un millón de veces suavemente multiplicado por otro millón. Disfruta de la gloriosa suavidad conmigo bajo mi gobierno. Viviremos a bien suavemente mi corazón. Es tiempo de suavemente te das cuenta de que suavemente es para siempre la luna. Y el sol morirán, pero la suavidad es suave. Las estrellas brillarán intensamente. Todos sabrán suavemente lo que suave es suavemente. De nuevo, un millón de veces suavemente multiplicado por otro millón. Te traigo mi suave. Regresé de entre los muertos con música de YouTube que cumple con los derechos de autor. Disfruta de la gloriosa suavidad conmigo bajo mi gobierno. Y vivimos a mí suavemente mi corazón. Es tiempo que suavemente te das cuenta de que suavemente es para siempre la luna y el sol morirán. Pero la suavidad es suave. Las estrellas brillarán. Intensamente todos sabrán suavemente lo que suave es suavemente de nuevo un millón de veces uh. multiplicado por otro millón. Te traigo mi suave. Regresé de entre los muertos con música de YouTube que cumple con los derechos de autor. Disfruta de la gloriosa suavidad de mi corazón. What the fuck? También suavemente mi corazón es tiempo de suavemente te das cuenta. What the fuck? What? Siempre la luna y el sol morirán, pero la suavidad es suave. A bomb just fucking yeeted. Yeeted into the air. What the fuck was that? <laughs> I'm just sitting here like mashing the fucking bow button. Mashing the nut button. Suddenly a bomb goes whoop, like just straight, straight up into the air. What's up, Sammy? Hmm. 
be cheating if you just replace the music at this boss fight? Uh, yeah, probably. Then they'd be like, what else did you change in the code? <laughs> All right, water wiggler. I will not put my dick in you. Let's do this. Spinny twonk! <laughs> Wiggle butt. Let's fucking go. Cutscene skipped. I try to do it fast, but I feel like it keeps. I keep missing it. So close to. We weren't that close to gold. Uh, the second phase of the boss fight was really slow. Shrek is a man. Well, that would have been Saria. Yeah, this first one of the day. <laughs> I like that. Bro dies to avoid talking to women, then dies to avoid talking to people he's already met. Bro is me. Relatable. Alright, we gotta do RI. I have five bombs, I think, or four bombs. That should be fine. I feel like I, f I have RI done to more or less a science. It's very rare we like lose a shit ton of time to this now, but knock on wood. Knock on lost wood. Oh, I knew it. I knew it. I fucking knew it. Oh, I knew that because I said, yeah, subtle foreshadowing. Mm. Now I have to leave and come back. Yeah, that's my favorite track in the game. Tambourine solo. <laughs> what went wrong? Um, I need to do a uh, instant turn to the side side hop after the slash. So, like that. That way I don't look at the gossip stone and it doesn't read until I look at it, which is here. Damn it, I did it again. I need to stop fucking doing that. I have to move the fish back to Ocarina or put, uh, maybe put Ocarina on, um, oh, I'm on down A, fuck. I have to put, I, I have to take Ocarina off after that, that warp. Water Wiggler Wednesday, my dudes. Don't you forget it. Come on, Water Wiggler. I would never forget you. Let me play the game of Mono Sound. I feel like it's on the Mono channel. It's right down the center.
Hop up there, hop up there, scare there. Shut up, Mido. Green hillbilly fuck. <sighs> That's not gonna work. Kind of late, but it'll be okay. Mido is the powerhouse of the cell. Yeah, unfortunately. A little bit late on that jump slash, but it's okay. Right, we definitely need some bombs. Oh my god! Oh my god. It's a fucking harvest. One more and I don't have to come back. Oh. Blessed be. Blessed be this harvest. I didn't even get halfway through them. Make it through the winter. Wait, what the fuck? Where am I? Oh, okay. That yeah, that's the nicest bombs I've ever seen. That was ridiculous. All right, see a tactical. <laughs> Where the fuck am I, said Link, as he drifted through the void. Alright, we lost a minute to R.I., which is fitting, because I said that that would happen in self-fulfilling unprophecy. I just jinxed it. I lost a minute to superstition. Why would Stevie Wonder do that? I'm still learning my, uh, my equips. Ooh, I don't know about that. Yeah. Oops. <laughs> That's what I get. That's what I fucking get. Come on. Please. How'd that s what, the other one not work? I don't even want to talk about Jabu Wrong Warp and the fear of jinxing it. Bountiful bomb harvest from the bomb factory of grass! <laughs> That's why I'm here. Thank you, Evie. 
Thank you for being here and not being scared off at our talks of... Look, okay, so the water wiggler looks like this. This is exactly what it looks like. It looks like it looks like Morpha's outer outer wiggly shell. Like for real, for real. I'd stick my dick in that. I, I feel like I would too. But like maybe not. I don't know. Like the theoretically, I'd put my dick in it. Practically, like probably not. We just got Evie. Evie just got back here. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. I'm not trying. I'm not trying to do it. And <laughs> what a neat way to bring that conversation back. <laughs> Literally, the fish's name is Water Wiggler. We're never, we're never getting away from it. But yeah, whatever you do, do not put your dick in the water temple, boss. Definitely had a water wiggler as a kid. Now I want to buy one again. It looks like a really good stim toy. Yeah. So I know I don't have ADHD. I, I actually don't like fidget spinners or like fidget cubes or anything. Like, uh, I feel like it's more distracting than uh, grounding. Good morning, Reshadows. Goodeth morning. This one has not woken up yet. I don't think I have ADHD. I just like to have a thing to fiddle with. That's fair. Need an idea for a dirty Santa gift? Um, Like a gift from Santa or like a gift from you? I, I, I don't know. I need more info. Yeah, get a water wiggler. You get a PB and submit it to the Sweden website. Do you ever stop and say, wait, is there anything in here I don't want the mods to hear? Here's the thing. I live my life unapologetically. More than one way to have ADHD. I also don't like fidget toys. Fair. That is true. You're super tired tonight, yeah. I think there's like the there's four categories now of ADHD, right? They went more specific with ADHD and then less specific with autism. Maybe that just means the next DSM will have more specific autism categories. You don't like sticky, sticky like things, yeah. Don't use fidget toys, I'm very satisfied with bouncing the fuck out of my leg. Oh yeah, I, I bounce the fuck out of my leg. That's that's something I just do. I'm not really sure why. Like, part of me thinks like maybe it's like, and like I have energy and I'm trying to get it out or something. But it doesn't really feel like a like a like a grounding thing. It's just something that my leg just does. So form. Or something similar to ADD. Well, ADD doesn't exist anymore. That's what it was in the 90s. For some reason, they added hyperactivity to it, which doesn't actually coincide with a lot of different ADHD diagnoses. It's called rest restless leg syndrome, and nobody knows what really causes it. I thought restless leg syndrome was when... Um, when you... Uh, is, that's when it when you're asleep. Mine might be anxiety. I don't really like. Uh, I don't really. I don't really have anxiety. I used to, but I don't really have it anymore. Like I have anxiety for like normal things. Like I'm like maybe I shouldn't put my hand on this stove, or if I'm like really close to the garbage disposal, I feel anxiety about that. You know, but I don't have generalized anxiety disorder or anything, which I think I did have at one point. But I think uh, I treated it well, and I think it was like something that was like more of a more of a 
thing that was learned rather than something that was like ingrained. Everything after the A and ADHD is attention is generally unnecessary. I feel like I feel like it should be E for executive dis Oh wait, we don't need to do anything. We can just go. So I have 17, which we can run with. We'll save time than having to swim across that bitch. I'll save before we start doing uh, Jabu entry. Attention, I have a problem. Attention. <laughs> All ADHD gamers. The neurotypicals are in trouble. And we have to band together as neurodivergence. But all we and all we need is your credit card number, the silly little numbers on the back. All disabilities can be treated with discipline and focus. Literally, literally scientifically untrue. <laughs> Yet again, Matthew. <laughs> I will not help the neurotypicals. It's nothing personal. Damn. I actually consider myself relatively neurotypical, but. I have a very, uh, very big place in my heart for neurodivergent people. I said treated, not cured. I mean... Treat my schizophrenia. <laughs> schizophrenia but I, I guess I know what you mean you need to treat it with fucking pills not with fucking discipline and focus our divergent heart has a place for you too Jules oh thank you oh dude we've been nutting all streams so I'm not, I'm not gonna even get that OCD yeah just be more focused and OCD will just be treated I was talking to my friend who has ADHD. I was telling him that like one time I was diagnosed with ADHD. True story. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. And then. No, I did something wrong. Whatever. This is the right angle. Oh, I put my hover boots on too soon. Okay, save that time right back. <laughs> yeah, materialize through those teeth. The ice, the ice teeth. It's time. It's true. Kindergarten is just anti-ADHD propaganda because all the posters telling you how to behave. I mean, I still am very, very firmly in the in the mindset with everyone I know. Who, oh, Jesus. Joey, thank you so much for the 125 months. God damn. Inching ever so close to one whole year. Thank you so much. ADHD diagnosis can just be a cause of parental neglect disorder. Yeah. That was the reason I got into psychology in the first place, because I was tired of fucking parents. Um, kindergarten actually just prepares you for prison. 
I mean, it prepares you for public school, which it prepares you for prison. <laughs> I can, I, I can see that. Um, no, I, I was just, I was really fucking pissed at like in the '90s when um, parents and teachers would just make the kids feel like it's their fault, and then they would just give them drugs and shit. When the, a lot of these kids just clearly did not. That's not what they needed. They just needed an adult to provide the care that they needed to. And they would just make it their problem. And then make them feel like they're not fucking capable. And then, you know, they're like, oh, it's, this kid's not acting the way that they should. So, time to give them drugs. And there are situations where, you, you know, medication management is very fuck. Why did I do that? Um... I think that fairy's gonna fuck off if I don't do this on like first try. Oh boy. I really hate where that fairy is right now. No! <laughs> I think it's fine though. I, I I have the open. Yeah. Okay. We're fine. It's just it now. My fucking bottles are backwards. It's all right. It's all right. It's still the cuck. It's still the cuck. Up. Oh. I gotta let that go. It's just funny. All right. I have a lot less problems if my mom wasn't a fucking narcissist. Yeah, that seems to be very common. Narcissistic parents. Let's fucking go. Legend it, yeah. Rudo, what do you think of this run? What do you think of this one, huh? Come on, look at those splits. That's fucking right! <laughs> That's what I'm fucking saying, Rudo! Judge my parents. <laughs> The single blessing. I think that's the, that's the, that's the, uh, that's how you know. Matthew Kidder, for how much you fucking judge other people, it's funny that parents are the spot where you stop. You're allowed to judge your own parents, even though they brought you up or lack thereof. Bars, Rudo. People do bad, they should be judged. I think... The one thing that I wish I could fucking tell people that I feel like helps a lot is... Oh, yeah! Rudo, you got him! Finally! Rudo killed the one on the top. Oh, fuck! But I didn't kill that one. Jesus. Um, Your parents can simultaneously have done the best that they could with the circumstances that they have and also not given you what you needed. Better to understand than judge. Sometimes just understanding doesn't actually let you internalize damage you may or may not have sustained. And if you just keep making excuses for them, sometimes you'll never actually like come to terms with some of the shortcomings that you've had to deal with. Yeah, the ego. It's it's tough, but it's common. What? <laughs> Let's fucking go. Oops. Whatever. I'll have hover boots if I have to do this again. No, me understand has come into agreement. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Yeah, absolutely, League. May not be your fault, but yeah, it, it's it's your responsibility to do what you need to for yourself. Just did my daily journaling, and it felt good to get stuff. Oh yeah, I, I'm back to my daily journaling shit. I took like a year off, and now I'm back to it.
but I shan't vent. Sometimes venting just doesn't help. It feels good, but sometimes I think there's definitely a time where just talking about it sometimes. Like, if, if you aren't talking about it, talking about it can help a lot, but... If all you ever do is talk about it, it's probably a better use of your time for your healing. Uh, I'm going over here. Oops. Ring around the baronade. Matthew Kidder, behave. That was so close. No, it wasn't bad. Fairies in a weird fucking place. All right, for the love of God, please work. Let's fucking... Come on. I don't understand why it won't work. I don't understand it. It's literally... Wait a minute. There was that one thing. I, I remember I... Uh, oh, okay. I, I forgot something that I figured out um, on, on uh, a different run. Something I figured out about about that strat in particular, I just I forgot to implement it. Matthew Kidder behave. Joking and sarcasm. should work. Yeah, okay, we're good.
Okay. <sighs> Phase three. Fuck! Ah! I did too much on the S turn. Link turned around, and then I panicked, and then I pressed A, which you're not supposed to do because that starts the cutscene. That other fucking bubble. Come here. Come here, bitch. Thank you. Yeah, runaway bomber link. Yeah, it's very funny. <laughs> Evie Priya. <laughs> fucking grunty jump scare. Such detail. How did they get the emote so big? Yeah, it's a bits thing. That is, that is me. My wrong warp. Third time's the charm. Here we go, baby. Yeah, I know about the splits, but thank you for reminding me. Don't do it. Okay, I think I got the first phase now. That was a weird time for now. It suddenly there needs to be like a whole other thing, but we're good, I guess. Find a pot. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess that means I just have to practice Jabu Wrong Warp. <sighs> it doesn't really feel like I'm I like I don't understand anything. I just have to like drill shit into muscle memory, just hammer it into my fucking brain. Because, uh, yeah, that was just misinput. 
because I need to you need to Z target Ruto without really looking at her for that long. Boof that muscle memory. Yeah, no, straight in my butt. Straight in my butt, Yuna. Straight into my butt. Yeah, no, that was a great run. We we've got a really fucking huge run coming. Like we yeah, that like we started a minute red and ended up uh four minutes. So we're 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 in that we're in that cusp again. We're we're gonna have a huge PV coming up soon, I think. We just gotta we just gotta get get through Jabu Wrong Warp and we'll be good. Yeah, Shadow and Forest, fucking great. We're we're killing it. Rip. But we did get a gold today. I <clears throat> so we're definitely getting better. Yeah, big nut. We take those. We fucking take those. Yeah. Big gold. Big yawn. Baby. Should we practice out? No, I'll practice on my own. I don't really like practicing on, on stream. A little happy dog. Look at the baby. You know, Reshadows loves you. She's just, she's just content. She's just, she's just, she's just contented. Yeah, why are you not big? Yuna, why are you small? Tell them. Why are you little? Sorry, I need to pet your cloud. Sometimes I bring her to cons. No. Ah. Baby. Baby. I love this dog. All right, guys. I will see you on Tuesday. I'm gonna practice Jabu Wrong Warp before before that happens. Yep. Good night, everybody. Thank you so much for hanging out. I will see you guys uh, Tuesday. New video at noon PST. Um, it is going to be the Chuck Conroy medley, a playthrough of it. Um, so please watch the video. Um, and yay. I uh, appreciate you. All right. Bye.